Module two, give your lyrics rhythm, patterns, and ingenuity. This module is not meant to overwhelm you at all. There is a lot of information in it, and I want you to know that trying to use all of these ideas in one go in one song could send you a little bit crazy. I would recommend that you try introducing one or two ideas at a time into your songs, and then build up your ability gradually to include the ideas in your song lyrics with ease. There are some exercises in this module for you to do as well. There are certain literary devices that you can use when writing the lyrics of your songs. I am eternally grateful to the scholars over the years. Who have analysed language, its form and structure, and so on? When you go into any language in this way, you will find natural rhythms that occur. And this is what works so fantastically with music. They can work together and create songs where your words and music feel like they could never be separated. These are always strong songs, and have a slightly magical feel to them. One last thing before we start. This is very important. I want you to understand that if you use any of these techniques and tips in this module even once, your mind will have absorbed the information, and you will always have it to hand. It is a strange and bizarre thing, I know, but just practicing their use once has opened that pathway in your brain. Obviously, the more times you practice, the more easily you will write using these techniques. But you don't have to sit down every time and think, "Oh, I must use assonance and alliteration on this line, and I must use an idiom somewhere in my song." Just practice writing a few out of context of a song, and you will find they will come out in the flow. Opposites. Using opposites in a song is an excellent technique that can create a winner. For example, "All of Me" by John Legend and Toby Gad, and "Hot and Cold" by Katy Perry, Dr. Luke, and Max Martin. You do not have to do the whole song using opposites, though. You could just do a one-liner. I made one up. You turn me on when the lights are off, or. You turn me off when the lights are on. Again, it has a rhythm to it, which music loves. So I'm going to use the chord of C, and、uh, the key of C, and the chords within the key of C. So here we go. You turn me on when the lights are off, or you turn me on when the lights are off. Proper nouns, such a great way to connect with your audience, even add a bit of humour, or just get your listener thinking. For example, in the song below, listen to the last line of the first verse. The song is "You Know I'm No Good" by Amy Winehouse. I actually had to look up the word Tanqueray when I first heard this song, as I didn't know it was a type of gin. You see. It got me thinking. Another example of a song using a proper noun is "Dear John" by Taylor Swift. Well, the proper noun is in the title. Alliteration. Here is a very famous example of alliteration. Around the rugged rock, the ragged rascal ran. Alliteration is when the first letter or sound of a word is repeated in the words that are next to or closely connected. As you can see from the example, around does not begin with an R, and neither does the. However, the overall sound is one with a lot of Rs. Alliterations do not have to be as long as the example, though. Just two or three words is great. Here is an example of alliteration in the title of a song, "Waiting on the World" by John Mayer. He also uses alliteration throughout the song as well. It's almost as if he wanted to write a song full of them. 
Alliterations give rhythm to your lyrics, which, as you know, is great for writing your melodies and harmonies.